Hey guys, River Dead here. Welcome back to another episode of Lake. Oh, it feels good to be back here again. Okay, good let's... morning, PO. It's time for us. A... Uh-huh. We got a lot to do. Um Okay, so we're gonna go out. Let's do Sparrow Lake first. So let's set that one as a waypoint. PO positive or that P. Okay, folks. Let's see what it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I've got a pet peeve. Returned mm. videos that have not been rewinded. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. I'm with you. Duly noted, Angie. And Thanks. now on to today's weather. Uh, we are on Main Street again. The Flick Shack, which is my favorite. Uh, we're on Main. Pick that up. Thank her for the video. I heard you on the radio. Oh, hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? It was great. A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? Yeah. There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic. And probably my favorite noir. Mm -hmm. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. It never you is. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. I won't argue with that. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Thanks. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. Eh, it has its place. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. Well, keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to speed in no time. <laughs> Will do. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. No problem, Angie. You know, it's good to see you. You as well. That's nice to hear. Because I have a sneaky little plan. Uh oh. Oh. We're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. Okay. What? Like a date? <laughs> well, more like a business proposal. That's cool. You in? Yeah. All right. I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Or evening. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place? It's 102 New Street, right? Oh. Yes. How did you find that out? Small town. Looked up your last name in the Rolodex. Your parents are regular clients. <laughs> oh, well. It's settled then. See you at five, partner. I'm in. Have a great one, Angie. Okay, so I've got a business date. I can take that. Hey, look, I don't have a, a boatload of cars behind me. Amazing. Um, okay, let's get in here. Okay, we've got one here. I think this is it right here. Is this it? Like that's a weird spot to put the mailbox, but you know, recessed driveways and all. Thank you. Looks like we have a lot of mail to deliver today. And like wondering if the songs are all cover songs as well. Like the movies were all like just close enough to not be. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I'm digging this game endlessly. Okay. Um, this should be me here. Are we... Which one are we at? Three oh two Jackson, okay. Yep. 
Just want to make sure because it's a tight spot in here. Okay. Let's hope I can get back in time for my date. What a convoluted place. You'd like you'd think you could have just like one um, place to drive, but no. No, drive in, park, and walk for a little while and do some, you know, deliveries. But nope, 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 nope. That's not how it works here. Uh, let's double check our map. Okay, we're going to go and take care of this one next. Get up there. I just want to make sure that I'm setting these up right because the right, last thing I want to do... Why is there an exclamation mark down there? Oh, is that the cat? i got to get that today too, don't I? It's never going to end this day. I think that'll be the last thing I do before going home. Uh, okay. So if there's no mail to deliver, I don't think you get the E on it. So that's a nice treat. Okay. No comments today. Interesting. She's just kind of being chill. It's, it's okay. Next. Um, okay, we'll mark that one next. Street. Okay, 104 Pine. <laughs> 102 Pine. Let's go get that one. Okay, is this the door here? Kind of hard to tell. Hopefully nope. nothing creepy happened. No answer. Okay, we'll just drop the package there. That's a rare treat. We won't get in shit for that. Doesn't matter. Um... Okay. Let's go do this, this, and then around. Okay. I think we're in good shape today. I just don't want to have the cat with me. I'm, I'm allergic. I mean, I've got my right, my, my reasons, right? So, is that the cops? Well, good thing he didn't see me drink driving. Whew. so enjoying this. It's such a weird thing to say. But I'm digging this like random, I'm delivering the mail game. Mind you, I mean, I also like the house flipper games where you have to go and clean the house and those things and the BC Park Builder one. That one's a lot of fun. I, I, some days I just like that kind of, not necessarily mindless, but just turn off the brain a little bit and just enjoy. You know, let the, the bits and the pieces in the background that are, you know, the background noise kind of take over and, you know, just something joyful. Not shooting, not, no drama. And nothing against those games. I play a hell of a lot of them and I quite enjoy them. But, you know, every now and again, it's just nice to have something that doesn't have all that. That you can just kind of go in. It's like, yeah. The other one I like is uh, the truck driving simulators. Um, those are a lot of fun. I played quite a bit of those over the years, which is odd to say, but I have. Um, I knew I was doing stupid. Okay, so let's put that there. 
too late to turn around here, but we did this the last time. Love the mountains, though. Tell you, moving off to the country. So appealing these days. The more and more that I live in the city, the less and less I want to live in the city. Which is weird, because when I was younger, living in the city was all I ever wanted. And now that I'm getting older, I'm like, yeah, you know what? A little peace and quiet. Not a bad idea. Now my... Ooh, God. I don't remember going over it with that. Um, yeah. Remember this guy. Lumberjack guy. Just the mail. There's a face I remember. Good morning. Hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lakeside for years. And now they're going to bulldoze it and build apartments. Jesus. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Uh-huh. Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss. Ah, oh, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. That's okay, I am. get the chainsaw and cut down town hall. I'm, I hear you there. Nothing a chainsaw can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well, I hear you. Maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. No worries, man. Bye, Robert. Bye, Robert. Hey, you... wait up. I'm done thinking about oh. it. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you'd want to go through all the files together? Sure. Tomorrow afternoon at Moe's. Food and drinks on me. Sounds amazing. Hmm. Sure. Who can say no to food and drinks at Moe's? Awesome. I'll see you there then. I'll bring all the paperwork. And I'll bring okay. myself. Okay. Bye. Look at me. Two dates, two days. I am a busy, busy young lady. Well, one is... Uh, well, I don't know. Neither one of them is necessarily a date. You know, helping out a person, business prospects and such. You know, it's, it's all good stuff. Pleasantries. Uh, let's see what we got for our map. Um, I'm just going to go this way. Yeah, I'm taking the long route. I'm, I've got... Oh, sheep dip. I honestly have nothing but time. Why did I not forget... Why did I forget about the covered bridge the last time I was here? I don't remember having so much trouble with it. Of course, maybe I'm just worse at driving. It's possible I'm just worse at driving. Oh, I could always stop by the motel again and see my friend, the computer guy. He seems really pleasant. Maybe I can, you know, play a game. What's the 1986? Uh, we could play... I'm trying to think what I was playing back then. Aztec? Uh, Bomber Man, I think, was another one. I know I was definitely playing uh, the word games, so like Zork and Ultima were ones that I played a bit of. So, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of games. Uh, and those were all PC games. Console games, not so much. I had... I'm trying to think. I don't think we ever had one until I was older. Mostly just computers. I don't ask why we had a computer, not a console. Uh, just that's how our house was. Mind you, we had friends and everybody that had them. I'm, my favorite back in the day was the ColecoVision. That was my jam. But my personal thing is I had my Apple IIc. That was my, that was my baby, my computer. I loved that endlessly. Played a lot of games on that thing. Much like I do now. Which is kind of weird. I don't think I've ever changed. I'm 53 years old, and I still play video games as much as I did when I was 15. <laughs> and um, I don't have a single regret. 
I know they've been vilified over the years, and you know I know that China is now locking down, saying kids can only play for an hour a day, three days a week, and all that. Um, you know they're saying you know, all these bad things about it. I don't think video games themselves are inherently bad. Um, I think that a lot of the business practices behind a lot of the video games nowadays are flawed. Uh, the whole loot boxes and you know the free games that you have to buy cosmetics and things and I think that's the racket um, and my understanding that's a lot of the type of games in China that you know are an issue but I don't think that stopping the kids from playing is the answer I think stopping the games from existing in that format probably is a better idea but hey you know who am I just a guy that plays video games but I honestly I don't like video games as services and stuff I I hate it all like that. It just, I just think it's garbage. It takes away all the fun. Now, I don't mind games that offer like a cosmetic upgrade and stuff. Like I play Deep Rock Galactic and, you know, I bought some skins, you know, that were five bucks and stuff. And I don't mind that, you know. But it's not like I have to, you know, do a bunch of stuff, have the option in the game to do it or pay for it. I, you just have the option of either you have them, you, you pay them, or you don't. It's simple. And that's the model I can understand. Hi, Hans. How are you doing this fine I've got two dates, Maureen. I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Nice. Didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> no, it's okay, Maureen. Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Gonna blow up again? Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. <gasps> How's life treating you, darling? Amazing. It's all right, actually. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? It was good. Yeah, I put my foot in it. I think I put my foot in it, to tell you the truth. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you. Especially after being away for so long. Mm -hmm. Then again, there are... Some things that never change, right? Yeah. You being one of them. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. Yeah, but it's intended that way. But the diner looks a bit strange to you, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit. I like what you did with the place. Yeah. I decided it was time for a change. Oh, Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh my gosh, Maureen. Stan died? I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's mm. been ten years already. Holy fuck. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, did I love that man. <sighs> We've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while... I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. That's nice. It is really inspiring. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did. For me, but also for Kay. She took her uncle's death pretty hard. I wish I'd known, yeah. I wish I'd known. Oh, sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, look at your face. No, Maureen, it's I'm good. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? I can't recall. I can't recall. Uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, mm -hmm. but Kay's been through a lot. Uh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I bet. I can imagine. It was good to see her again. I've missed her too. Then, it sounds like you know what to do. Mm -hmm. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Smart. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, 
business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. Blueberry pie. <laughs> Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Ashley? <laughs> what happened to that pie? I'm so sorry, honey. I swear that kid. <laughs> it's okay, Maureen. I have a feeling I'll be back soon anyway. Tomorrow. Huh? I'll hold you to that. No you worries. Bet. Bye, Maureen. I love these conversations. I like the fact that we can kind of control it a little bit. You know, it's not too many directions you can take it, which is still good. Okay, let's go get the cat. God, what a busy day. And I got my business date. And then back to the post office. Sorry, cat. Drop it off to the cat lady. And then back to the post office and then off to my date. Busy, like I said. And here I thought I was going to get things done early. Okay. Let's go see how... Mr. Whiskers is. I have no idea what the cat's name is. Maurice? Is that right? I can't remember. This is a long walk. That's all I remember. So beautiful, though. I can pretend smell the, f the fish and the, the air. I, I grew up on the the ocean, right? So, for me, it's always a smell Hi there, Mr. of the ocean, not How's Mortimer? lakes. So. Oh, good day, Meredith. Mortimer. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. Good oh, okay. night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. <laughs> Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? Loving everything. I'm having fun. I'm having fun, yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. You got For it. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. Okay. Got the cat. Freaking out a little bit. Why is there a starfish? You don't have starfish in fresh water. Not that I can recall. I thought starfish were a saltwater thing. I may be completely out of my mind. It could be a... I'm, you know what? I'm going to go with it was a toy. So it was a sponge starfish. That's what I'm going to stick with. No idea if it's real. Okay, let's go drop off the cat. And then we'll go finish off our day. And it's been a lovely day. Doo -doo. No more cop cars coming after me. Kind of funny that you can just kind of move into a small town, take over the postman's job. <laughs> you know, it's not like it's... Am I getting paid for this, or like how how does this all work? I'm very curious. It's an odd thing. Um, what is that eye? Yeah, that's where I thought. What's this say? I got nothing. Okay, I was thinking that there was water on the other side of the houses, not this side. That's where I was like, huh? Okay. Okay. Look who's back! Mortimer! Oh, look at you! You're good as new! Meow. 
Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm. I suppose he's right. It's it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. Miss Jenkins, My pleasure. pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. Thanks. I'm going to talk to cats now. Okay, well. Time to return to the post office. I don't eat anything throughout the day, I've noticed that. No lunch breaks. Just these little conversations random with people throughout the day. I wondered, am I just doing this for like part of my day? You know, am I doing this from like, I don't know, 7 in the morning until, I don't know, 8 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> I mean, how much time actually passes? I, I can't imagine very much. But then again, it's game time, so in, in the games, time tends to go at its own pace. There's the downtown core. Okay. Work day is done. Time to go have my not date. No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. No, that's weird science. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It's amazing. It was a pretty big hit. I figured you, with your computer background. Well, who doesn't right. like wearing a bra? I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Brian. Monty Python's Life of Brian. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good choices. You know, you don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. Yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, take that as a compliment. I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks. Well, I do kind of have a thing for nerds. Oh. But I'm also a sucker for someone in uniform. So I guess you tick multiple boxes. I'm a box ticking kind of <laughs> so, gal. Any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? It's complicated. Multiple reasons, I guess. Push and pull. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Then, yeah. Providence Oaks is pretty different. I would imagine. <laughs> Sure is. It's quieter for one thing, slower for another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are the two things I like best about it. Me too, I think. It took some getting used to. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean, for free? Yeah. You know the town, you're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. <laughs> Look, it's a VCR in a box. I, I've and it's used portable these. too, so you can take it to anyone. Wow, this is the future of entertainment. Oh, yeah. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. I like it. Okay, but what's the revenue model here? No, none. Oh, you! Not everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Which, I guess, is ultimately about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? Yeah. The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and... Nightmare on Elm Street. A Nightmare on Elm Street. Excellent. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Yeah, well, kinda. not exactly. You'll just John have Depp to watch it. So. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. Good choice. And that's too. it for now. If you're in, that is. 
So, you in? Yeah. All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. Yay! All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Ah. Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, okay. what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. <laughs> just open? Oh, just have another cup of coffee? I'd love to, but I really can't. Thursday's usually one of the busiest days. Sorry, yeah, I can understand but I'll that. see you soon, okay? Yeah. Bye, well, babe. Well, at least I got a babe out of it, so that's good. <laughs> so that was oh, Thursday day, so this is the evening. Let me guess, hey, Steve? Hello? Hey, Meredith. Oh, it's Dad. Hey, Dad, how's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to Mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? Love it. I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Frank's quite the character indeed. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He likes baseball a bit too much. He plays as a bet every now and okay. then. Okay. Nothing too serious. And what about Mildred Jenkins? Mildred likes to talk a lot. I sometimes postpone delivering her mail <laughs> until she and her cats can't ambush That's me. That's true. Speaking of ambushes, your mom is telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Oh, okay, it. Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, stand by me. Uh -huh. About four Oregon boys in the 50s. Yep. Right up my alley. <laughs> Great movie. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. I actually enjoyed the story a lot more. The short story by Stephen King called The Body. <clears throat> okay. Uh, work on it. I am that person. Still gonna give him a shit. All right, here we go. <clears throat> well, it's Friday, and this is where we're gonna end things here. I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in our next one. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye.